Hello, my name is Richard Larrington. The company is Larrington Traders from Boston in Lincolnshire. I'm here today, I'm going to show you how we make the rollover sheet on our trailer work. Um, and also want to show you the ease of the rollover sheet, which is unique to our product. The most important thing is how we've actually mounted the sheet onto the top of the trailer. We are unique in the fact that along the top of our trailer there is an angled frame all the way along the top and this goes in the same direction as what the rollover sheet does. That means that we can seal the rollover sheet along that angle without any difficulties. The arch of the rollover sheet allows for the sheet to be put over the top of the crop and allows for water to drain off. But there are a selection that you can have. You can have a 150mm arch, a 300mm arch or a 450. So if you've got low buildings and when you tip the trailer you have to be careful how high it goes then we suggest you take a 150mm arch. The 300mm arch is standard and the benefit between 150 and 300 is that when you've got the rollover sheet over and the trailer is stood outside, the 300 gives a better projection for the water to run off when it's raining if it's outside. The highest of arches is the 450mm arch and we do that for people specifically who are loading potatoes into the trailer. Because you can pile potatoes really, really high, you want the rollover sheet to go over that crop and not try and force its way through the crop. So our highest arch is designed for the potato growers who like to get that really good load on, but we don't want to get the crop wet. What I'm going to try and do now is show the operation of the sheet as simply as I can. The first thing I've already done is I've taken the strap from the far side of the trailer and I've put it over and it's now already here on this side just to keep the strap in place so when you roll the sheet over you can get the strap to pull down. My next operation is go to the front of the trailer and I'm going to release the locking latch on the far side. That's the locking latch off. I get my small handle. You notice a small handle. Not a great big long one, you've got to dangle through a space in the air. Small handle. Okay. We put it onto the control here. The first thing I've got to do is take the locking latch off, which stops the rollover sheets from moving. I apply pressure. Take that off. Now I can wind the sheet over. As you can see, the rollover sheet comes over quite easily from the front to the back and comes along the top section. And now simply release the lock, the locks the sheet in place. Pull the strap, strap ratchet it up, the sheet's now on job is sorted. The next stage, obviously, is if I now want to take the sheet off. To do that, I'd come and undo this strap. Throw the strap over on the far side. Careful that you don't hit anybody. Undo the lock. Take my handle. Put it in the far side, and again, roll the sheet over. Once it's in place, put the locking handle on this side. Simply you would pull the central strap down on this side, lock the sheet in place, and then the sheet is over, ready to be used again. I hope that's proved how simple and unique our rollover sheet is. There is no other like it. We have been doing this sheet now for a number of years. We've had a lot of good compliments. The future is you're going to have to use a rollover sheet more and more. Health and safety, we know where that's taking us to. 
and sometime we hope to be able to replace, if required, these boxes with electric motors so it will be able to be done from the tractor seat. Thank you for watching this film. There's more to come and see, more to look at on our trailers. Thank you.